Hello friends, welcome back again. And uh, here we are going to learn something interesting. Many people don't know about this as I have seen, like even they do have experience of five years, six years, and still they don't know. So I would not say like they are not wrong or they should know. Uh, it is depending on the choice as well. Like uh, you may be using something interesting more than hell, more like more helpful than this. So let's go ahead with this topic and try to learn with this what it is, how it is helpful and how we can use like for us staffing purpose. And if you are from other industries, so I think it may be helpful too. Like you need to search the things accordingly. So what is Google Groups? Google Groups are the, uh, like uh, the groups which have been created by the US staffing people for their industry uh, in this proper, I would say for the US staffing people. And there are other groups as well, industry wise, as if they have made for their industry. So here we see the related things like I explained earlier to if you are a recruiter and you are looking for the candidates for your requirements, which is coming from the client. So obviously you try to go here and there and you try to search multiple places to have one candidate here. What is helpful? In, I will not explain other parts. I would explain it later to the, to the Google Groups. If you have proper Google Groups with you and you are sharing the requirements on that, so it goes to so many band sales people and they reply to you if they are having the related candidate for that. So for that, how it works, how it would be helpful, how you will use. So it, the video may go long, so I'll be making part one, part two, part three, if it goes long. So, but try to understand it would be really helpful for you. So when a recruiter is sending requirement to the Google groups, he has subscribed. So that requirement goes automatically direct, uh, to so many band sales people who are in that Google group or Google groups. So whenever they see related to requirement, they go in that part and they reply with the resume of the candidate. So here we are going to learn first how we use it, how to subscribe it, how to make it. So for that, just on the general ground, I'm explaining first, we need to have one Gmail ID. You should have Gmail ID. I would suggest not to use your personal Gmail ID because it would be getting so many requirements daily basis. It may be like more than 10,000, 5,000 or maybe more than that. So accordingly, you need to use one email ID, which is new and you are not in or I would say the email ID, which you are not using. So here we see so many things like you can see I have already two lakh emails here. So what you need to see, you need to see a fresh email. That's the indication. You are getting regular so many requirements. So here, that is one part. When you are logged in in that, you need to move to the next part here. You will go in Google, search for Google Groups. You will click here. You will get Google Groups page. make sure you are logged in with the new email id which you want to use for that so using that email id you will be logged in and here you can see this email id related google groups which i have already added but uh, let's uh, ignore those groups i would explain how we can use it so these are the two basic parts for now one is gmail id which is having like no usage for you till now and you're going to use it freshly only for the requirements purpose or anything so here again like the email flow will be very high so make new email id other than that google groups in google you will search google groups you will open that and make sure you are logged in with the correct email id okay these are a few options in that those you can see my groups are those groups like which whatever you are going to subscribe would come in the my groups recent groups obviously the groups which you have subscribed recently favorite groups obviously like you can mark few groups as favorite and you can use and start conversations as like you must have been using like uh, whatsapp 
or something another chat uh, like uh, methods where you can mark from proper uh, messages a start or favorite or something like that this is nothing more than that only so these are the basic terms and things how and where you will learn in the next video so just go to the next video i'll share the link very soon and then accordingly we can move a code like the method to follow i'm not explaining that in this because the video would go too much long and there would be the problem because like people don't like to see too much long videos as i have uh, feedback in that way i would say so thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel and like and comment too i would be waiting for you to for my next video and just come there and see that how we use this group for us thank you bye bye